Thank you so much for joining us today as we officially kick off Race Week for the Coleman Central Valley Race for the Cure that is actually this Saturday, October 26th at Fresno State. In late August, we announced our 15 faces for 15 races for the 15th annual Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. Without their support, these 15 people could not be, we could not be as effective in our local life-saving programs targeting breast cancer education, screening, and treatment. And we're so lucky to have those that, part of those, that are actually named for this honor join us today here. Norm Jorgensen, husband of Carolyn, who was the founder for our first Race for the Cure, is a passionate co-survivor and supporter of his wife and her efforts. Carolyn is also being awarded posthumously. Ken Takauchi has been the Central Valley Race for the Cure director since its inception in 1999. Not only does he keep us on track, Ken is a great Komen supporter. Stephanie Berugian. KC24 Anchor was instrumental in bringing the life-saving Buddy Check program to the Central Valley. She's been the Race for the Cure MC for many years. Millions of people, because of the Buddy Check message, have actually started to check their breasts here in California, and not just Central California. Other people have heard of Stephanie. Lisa Thompson, she works part-time as my assistant for Komen and volunteers as the Central Valley's race uh, teams chair. Under her volunteer tenure, the number of teams has expanded from 45 to over 200. Dr. Jason Bush is a breast cancer researcher and associate professor of cancer biology at Fresno State. He has uh, been a Komen Grant reviewer and a member of the community profile team. Anna Taser, breast cancer survivor, placed number two in the race top individual fundraiser in 2011 and number three in 2012. Her team placed in the top 10 teams twice and has also sponsored a golf event. Joining me also is Kim Kaiser, our newly appointed president of the Komen Central Valley affiliate. It's an honor to recognize these 15 professional and passionate and dedicated individuals whose commitment to the cause through volunteerism, financial support, and advocacy has had a great significant impact on our community. These 15 people have played a role in closing the gap to education, financial, and cultural disparities locally. When breast cancer survivor Carolyn Jorgensen founded the first race in Fresno 15 years ago, it was her desire to raise breast cancer awareness and funds so that underserved women and men would have access to life-saving breast cancer education, screening, and treatment. When Carolyn passed away with a recurrence, we continued that mission because we remembered that at any time, this disease can strike so close to home. While one in eight women will face a diagnosis of breast cancer in their lifetime, there is hope, especially when it's diagnosed early. Winning the fight against breast cancer is much more about than just curing a medical condition. It's about overcoming cultural, social, educational, and financial barriers that prevent people from getting screened and receiving timely medical treatment. In the past four years, thousands of our local residents have been devastated financially in the Central Valley. Women with a high risk of developing breast cancer and women who have actually found lumps in their breasts are having to make a financial decision. And am I going to pay for a mammogram or am I gonna lose a house payment? They risk foreclosure. No woman or man should ever have to face that. We have received more calls from men in 2013 than ever before. Coleman Central Valley believes no woman or man needs to make that type of decision. The Race for the Cure is an event that promotes healthy living, honors those who have battled breast cancer, and raises funds to support local projects of cancer screening and treatment for medically underserved. 75% of the net proceeds from this race stays in our community to fund the following project. Mammograms for the underserved women and men, lymphedema treatment for breast cancer survivors, financial assistance to breast cancer survivors to continue their treatment, 
culturally diverse breast cancer education and wellness programs and hospice care. Here are the race details. Saturday, October 26th at Fresno State, we hope that you'll join us. We have online registration, which is available this evening until 11.59 p.m. Details about the race day can be found on our website at comancentralvalley.org. In-person registration takes place at Macy's Fashion Fair main store, October 24th and 25th from the hours of 11 to 7 on Thursday and 11 to 6 on Friday. And you may also register race day. Providing access to life-saving breast cancer screening and treatment will help more women and men catch this disease earlier to allow them to receive the care that they need to save their lives. It is critical this year to build our race participation to ensure a healthier future for these women and men. Thank you.